Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison seeing for himself the latest areas devastated by bushfires in New South Wales. The day after he was confronted by angry residents in the town of Cobargo. This woman refusing to shake his hand. So many people have lost their homes. The Prime Minister said he wanted to offer comfort to those affected by fires on New Year's Eve and he's not surprised at their reaction. People are angry. It is something that I will empathise with. It is something that I understand. It's not something for me to take personally. It's peak holiday season, but with a state of emergency declared in the states of New South Wales and Victoria, tens of thousands of people have been leaving tourist areas. Traffic's been backed up for many kilometres on major highways as people try to get home or at least to safer areas. About a quarter of the 4,000 people stranded on a beach in the town of Malakuta in Victoria have been taken on board naval vessels to escape the fires. I haven't been able to process it, no, not yet, no. Um, we're all down at the foreshore and it's something that I want to forget. The evacuations will continue as fire conditions on Saturday are forecast to be catastrophic. We're making every preparation possible for what will be a very difficult day tomorrow. Uh, weather conditions are very unpredictable. We know the temperatures will still be in the mid-40s in many parts of our state. Thousands of firefighters are in the field with additional helicopters on standby. We're unfortunately very likely we will lose homes tomorrow but we'll be very happy and we'll call it success if there's no lives lost. That is our single focus tomorrow. A focus on saving lives in the face of an unprecedented bushfire season. Felicity Davey, Al Jazeera, Sydney.